In this video, I'm going to explain your research tasks, how much experience they give you, how many points they give you for completing different types of tasks, and how everything in general just works. So when you go to your Pokédex and you go to the research tasks for a certain Pokémon, which every Pokémon has its own unique ones, you'll see the tasks that you can do, like number caught, number of heavy specimens you've caught, etc, etc. And then you'll see a bunch of numbers on the right side. The ones that are in yellow that are checked off are the ones that you've completed. So you have to catch one to get that mark checked, and then two, four, ten, and fifteen, as you can see. These numbers over here indicate how many of this task you've actually done. You can see mine is five. I've caught five of them. I'm on my way to catching ten. Now each time you complete one of these tasks, and by one of them I just mean one check mark, you will gain two things. You will gain experience from the professor as well as a level to your research level for this Pokemon. But there is something that affects both the experience and the level gain. You'll see there are these red arrow things next to some of the tasks, like cat number caught, number of heavy specimens you've caught, as well as investigated a sighting of an unusual Ponyta. Now what these do is actually give you double the value. They'll give you double experience, which we'll talk about soon, but they also give you two levels instead of one. So if I defeat one Ponyta, I will get one research level. But if I capture one Ponyta, I will get two to my research level. So essentially you gotta do some math here to get to the total of 10. So let me just break this down as an example with Beautyfly here who's currently research level four. I wanna get this to 10, right? So what I gotta do is when I look at my tasks here, I've already completed three, but I somehow have the research level four. This is because number caught has the red icon, which means the one that I caught actually counts as two levels. And then the other two caught during daylight hours and number defeated count as just one point. So if you do the math here and you look at the number courts, I have another one because I've caught two. So I have the second one that's going to give me another two points. So at our current level four, we're going to go from four to six. And then caught during daylight hours, it's going to go from six to seven. Number defeated, another task there. It's going to go from seven to eight. And then two different tasks completed for number you've defeated with rock type moves, which is going to go from eight to ten. So when I go ahead and I speak to the professor to allow him to look at my research and we go to Beautyfly over here, you can see those five have completed and we went from level four to level 10 just by doing those simple tasks. But you should never just only get to level 10. You actually want to get experience for your star member rank, which is over here. Now let's talk about this screen. Every time you want to upgrade your star member rank, you're going to have to collect research points. And these points can be gained in two ways. First off is research tasks completed. We completed five. Now this is only for the beauty fly, which I'll be referencing to explain. So the first thing you'll notice is that we completed five and we got 60 points. You're wondering how come we have five and 60? The math kind of seems confusing. Well, that is because the tasks that have the red icon give you 20 points, whereas the tasks that don't have the red icon only give you 10 points. So we only got one red icon, the number caught as, the, as a red one, which gave us 20 points, whereas the the other four tasks were non-red, which gave us 10 points. So that's 40 points plus the red ones 20 equals 60. So in general, you're going to be wanting to do lots and lots of research tasks for as many Pokemon as possible to get your points up because it is a slow grind. They're, towards these last few star ranks, it goes up a lot of points. The next way to get points is quite a very nice way. It gives you 100 points straight up. It says species with newly completed entries. You can see I've got one. 100 points for that one. What this means is every single time you get a Pokemon to research level 10, like we did with the Beautifly in this playthrough here, we were able to get it as a completed entry. A completed entry means you got a Pokemon to research level 10, which gives you 100 points. So this means you should go out and complete the entries for as many Pokemon in the in the Pokédex as you can to get 100 experience or points for each single Pokemon. All in all, that's like, I think, what, 24,200 points that you can get in total just for completing all those entries. And then with their research tasks, you got you got a lot of work to do, guys. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about research tasks and the experience you get and how the points and everything works. I hope this video explained. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I do reply to every single one, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks so much for watching.